All right, USC head coach, former major leaguer Andy Stankiewicz joining right now, getting ready for the Trojans trek to Texas, where they're going to take on TCU and Texas A&M, a part of the College Baseball Showcase at Globe Life Field this weekend. And, and Stanky, it's great talking. I love talking to uh, USC baseball folks. And uh, this is your second year at the helm, trying to get the program uh, going in the right direction. And last year was such a, a great year for USC, a big step forward. But I guess I want to go back before that. What led to you taking this job? Why was this an opportunity that you wanted to pursue? Well, uh, Jared, thanks for having me on, number one. Um, I To answer that question, oh, you know, I grew up here in Southern California. I grew up being a big USC um, football fan. Um, you know, I had dreams of playing football at USC. I wanted to win a Heisman. Well, um, I, I realized that probably wasn't going to happen, so I, I turned my direction and my attention towards baseball. And um, – and um, you know SC when I was growing up here, man, it was it was it was a team. Coach Dado and what he had done here and accomplished, and um, and I ended up at Pepperdine, which was great. But I've always had, you know, kind of uh, you know this uh, kind of affinity for for USC athletics and, and sports, and um, just really respected it. I was uh, from the outside looking in, I just was just like, man, what's, what's what a great place. And so, um, an opportunity to come back home. Uh, and help this program get to where you know many believe, and I believe as well that that USC baseball should be should be at the top uh, every year on the top top ten and top twenty every year. And so, and getting back to Omaha and just kind of kind of regaining footing in in, in college baseball. And so, um, it's tougher than ever because parity is so strong, and you look at the conferences across the country are are so well coached and, and uh, it's just, it's really incredible how the game of baseball college baseball has grown. So not an easy task, but I, I do feel like it's one that, that needs to be done. I think that, that Southern California baseball, I think when USC baseball is good, I think it's good for college baseball, you know? And I think that, uh, um, and I'm excited about, about being here and, and I'm excited about what we did last year, got off to a slow start, but we, we know we got a lot, of, a lot of baseball in front of us. You built such a great staff, but what what's important to you and your staff to try and build what you're wanting to build uh, in Southern California? Well, I think first uh, we have to fundamentally be a very very sound ball club. I think one of the things we try to squad even early on is like don't get caught up in the opponent. Um, um, just play the game. Play the game. Play the game means throwing strikes, going down the zone, strike one. Um, playing really good defense, right? Um, making the plays cutting the ball off, going to the right, right base, um, at the plate, you know, being a tough at bat, you know, being stingy, um, I'm going to take the opposite field knock if that's what is, is being provided and, um, running the bases smart, just, just really good fundamental baseball. And I think sometimes that our young men get caught up in who we're playing and all of our opponents are really good. I'm trying to explain to them if we, if we play well, then we got shot. If we don't play well, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We're going to, we're really going to be frustrated at the end of the day. And so, so just trying to, you know, and our, our staff is, is really, very good. They've all been, they're very, they know the game, they understand the game, they know how to teach, they communicate well. Our players respect them. Um, I think that I've got a great staff, best in the country. And so just kind of, our guys got to, got to buy in. Our guys got to understand what coach is asking us them to do and buy in and be a, be a team player. This is, I tell you the other day, this, this is the, the, one of the best moments that you'll ever have being a team because I'm someone will play pro ball. Now the Texas Rangers, your ball club, there's moments where it's a great team and those teams usually win a world series like you all did last year. But a lot of times in pro ball, especially in the minors, it's not, it's not a great team. Sometimes it's about a bunch of guys just trying to get over top of each other to get to the big leagues. And so I'm just trying to encourage them. I guess this moment in, in your life will can be and should be one of the greatest times as far as like being being a part of something bigger than yourself and, and you've been a part of a ton in your career as a as a, a player playing in the major leagues you've been on the the scouting side of the professional ranks you've helped you know, build a program at grand canyon i met you you don't even remember this but i met you when i was doing your laundry when you were at arizona state on staff there uh, in the, the late 2000s and actually ran into someone the other day uh, who is close with Zach McPhee, who was one of the, the players at Arizona State. And we were talking about college baseball and 
uh, and and Zach was raving about his experience with you and uh, and and everything that you've experienced. I know translates to these kids. Uh, what what should they expect? What would you want a kid to say if they were to tell someone what it's like playing for Andy Stankowitz? Well, I would say hopefully they would they would uh, um, feel like they were challenged, um, you know, and that I helped them become the best baseball player um, that they could be along along that in the middle of that help them become um a really good person and understand that that it's hard a game is hard life can be hard and and just uh, if our guys can go away from their experience here um some of them are going to play professional baseball and we want to develop them um but i want them to be able to face challenges in life that come their way um outside of the game and and i think that's what we're trying to help these young men build build strength and build a character that can handle life and handle it really, really well and, and, and be a great teammate and obviously be able to go out in the community and be a great father, be a great husband and do a lot of cool things for, for, um, um, for a lot of people just outside of them. So it's part of it. And then have a great experience. I want these guys to for the next three years or four years, walk out of here and make great friendships, man. And, and, um, and come back to alumni games and, and just, uh, you know, and reminisce and, tell jokes about about me and make fun of me and and yeah. imitate me i get it. I, I i i was a player man i was in the clubhouse i i don't go in the clubhouse much because i know they're making fun of me which is fine <laughs> no and they should be mimicking me they should be remember when coach said this and they all laugh about it that's good that's a good thing well we're speaking on a tuesday your ball club takes on michigan tonight and then heading to texas this week and i remember when i was at sc we played at dodger stadium uh, and it was always such a, a treat to get to play at a major league facility uh, and this weekend your ball club is going to be a globe life field not only a, a major league facility but uh for this year at least the home of the defending world series champions how excited are you to, to get to play some good teams and, and get to do it at a, a neat facility with uh, with the air conditioning? I know it was 94 degrees yesterday back in Texas. Uh, so you're going to get some of that Southern California weather with that roof closed, uh, closed if needed. Uh, but yeah, we're excited. I think, uh, Jerry, what a great – you're talking about experience. What a great experience for our guys to go and, and get a chance to play in a, in a big league facility. I mean, we, we got to go to spring training. We played in – the Cubs spring training play the Diamondbacks spring training site, and now we're going to get to go play in, in the Rangers obviously home field, and so um, against premier college opponents, right? And so um, it's a it's a big challenge, but in terms of the experience for our guys, it's it's a huge win. I, I looked at the schedule and previous schedules at SC, and the last time USC has been on the road in non conference was 2018. Um, and last year we went to Auburn, but Auburn was supposed to come here. Rain came, and so we rescheduled to go to Auburn. So I really feel like for us to get to where we want to go, we have we can't just sit in Southern California. As wonderful as it is here, we're going to have a beautiful stadium soon, which is going to be great. But we still have to find our moments where we leave the state of California, get into a, a, a different environment, play a top 10, top 20 program in the country. That's how we're going to build this. That's how our guys are going to get. Get get experience and and feel comfortable in those futures. That's where if that's where we want to go. That's what we're telling you we're going. Well, then we got to go play the TCU's and the A and M's and the Arkansas's and maybe the LSU's and the Texas's and whomever. We 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 can't just sit in Southern California. We have to push ourselves, challenge ourselves, and, and get knocked down and get up, get knocked down, get up. And we have to experience the highs and the lows of of not just staying in Southern California. This is this is an important trip for us in terms of just. I got a lot of freshmen. They've already played a lot. They've got got to get out there in a, in a really tough environment and be nervous, and then get comfortable and get nervous and get comfortable. And that's how we're gonna we're gonna grow our program. Uh, USC for those in in the Central Time Zone who want to uh, maybe head over to Globe Life Field on on Friday, taking on TCU at two o'clock Central Time uh, on Saturday, A and M at two o'clock, and then on Sunday. Uh, USC and TCU playing, I believe, at, at 3 o'clock. Uh, Stanky, who, who are some guys? I know that it's always a tough question for someone in your position. I don't want you to uh, to, to leave anyone out, but it, it, two or three names, people getting ready to come watch USC for the first time 
uh, guys that they should maybe look out for? Well, I think one of one of um, our, our catcher Jacob Galloway is just uh, turned into uh, he's a great look catcher, receiver, blocker, but he's really come with the bat. As of late, um, I think he's done a. Um, he's kind of showing himself to to really be a nice, a nice tough outs. He's a he's he's a little guy, so he's not your typical catcher six two 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 twenty. He's five ten, probably weighs about one sixty. So um, I think he, he gives a lot of hope to that to that little guy that wants to catch and, and be a Division one catcher. So he's he's fun to watch. Um, um, we got some young kids. Andrew Lamb is a guy that's kind of come on a little bit. Um, for us, um, left-handed hitter, freshman, you see him in the outfield. Austin O'Vern is kind of a preseason guy, and um, he hasn't got off to the greatest start, but center field play, as far as running balls down, speed, speed it, it is real. He, he can really move. Um, he's fun to watch. Um, we just got to get him to use a little diamond a little bit more. He's uh, um, and he will, um, but um, he's going to be he's going to be a fun one to to stay on and kind of watch him grow as a baseball player. And so um, those are the guys I would I would say kind of out, out of the block right here are doing doing pretty well. All right, now we we're just talking about playing at a, a major league facility, and I know that uh, in Southern California, you guys are excited, looking ahead to some some new facilities, infrastructure. Uh, what can you tell us about what the future might hold as far as it pertains to the home of USC baseball? Well, I think we're a couple years away. We're right now we're at Great Park in Irvine, which was last weekend we were there. They did a great job of of um, branding it and making it look like our home, which is is wonderful. Um, we're very appreciative. Um, we two years time, you know, we've met with the architects a couple times already, and and we feel like we're in the process of of building a one of the finest college baseball ballparks in the country, if not, right? And I, it won't be as big as far as seeding capacity. Um, I just don't know that that makes sense that sometimes in some of the ballparks you see, you know, seven, 10,000 seats, I don't think we'll be there, probably about 3,500 or maybe 4,000. Um, but great facilities, clubhouse, batting cages, a pitching lab, um, right in the same same area the data is now. It'll be a football facility, be a big deck, over right field that looks on the right field wall. And then the other side of it looks into the practice facility for football. So a lot of cool things that are being developed. I think it's going to have a, a really cool, cool, cool vibe. We're going to, you know, we want to celebrate the history here, you know, where, where this place has, has been. Um, so lobby that's going to celebrate um, a lot of, of, uh, you know, just the alums and what the, alums, the guys that have played in the big leagues and, been all Americans and all of that. And so we're gonna gonna just decorate that up really well and, and um we're excited. It should be should be one of the finest ballparks in the country. Well I'm I know I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm looking forward to USC and the transition of the Big Ten. And this really has become a coast to coast conference now, all the way on the West Coast, USC and UCLA and then Oregon and Washington and then uh I guess we'll have a, a USC Rutgers rivalry maybe. You go all the way to the East Coast. Uh, and right there in the middle is is my home state of Texas, uh, and I I know there's a lot of talent in Texas because uh, I couldn't hit off of any of the guys in Texas when I was coming up. Uh, I know there's some some guys on the roster from Texas, including the the DFW Metroplex uh, and and Keller uh, with Eric Hammond and uh, and and some guys uh, I think uh, in the Houston area, if I'm not mistaken, with Josh Blum, but. There's so much talent in Texas. Hopefully there are kids that come out and, and get to watch the Cardinal and gold and, and, and see what USC baseball is all about against some tough competition. But uh, how important is the state of Texas to you and, and expanding outside of California as uh, you transition into the Big Ten next year? Well, it's a big part. I think uh, it's a national brand, SC. And I think that's part of it is being able to recruit everywhere. And we're certainly excited about the state of Texas getting into this weekend and, and uh, kind of kind of laying our fingerprints, um, you know, recruiting across, across the state of Texas. I know there's fantastic players there. I know there's great competition there in terms of recruiting, great, great college programs in the state of Texas. And so, but, um, you know, we're, we're USC, man. We're on the West Coast. We're in Los Angeles. And so I do think it's an area that we need to be more aggressive and we're, gonna, we're actually going to, you know, spend more time and try to see if we can't, and uh, get more of a, a stronger footprint uh, in recruiting in Texas. So it's all good. Well, looking forward to it, Stanky. I'm, I'm so bummed I'm here in Arizona. I'm not going to be able to watch USC this weekend. 
uh, in person. We'll be following along, but hopefully people head out to Globe Life Field, catch some USC baseball. Uh, so many of us are pulling for the program. Uh, Stanky, you've done such a great job. We're really excited to have you on board, and thanks so much for taking some time to chat. My pleasure, man. Thanks for having me, Jared. Enjoy Phoenix.